Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. I wanted to give you guys an update regarding the GPUs that I may have bought over the weekend. We did do a live stream covering if I should buy these 108 RTX 3070s for around 26 to 27 thousand dollars. So we did a live stream talking about that already. You guys can go check it out. But just to let you guys know, I have gone ahead and purchased those 108 3070s. I'm gonna be filling up my 10 GP riser R8s here. I right, got 10. So really, I only need about 80 RTX 3070s to fill up these 10 R8s because they're eight GPU each. And I got 10 here, so eight times 10. That's 80 GPUs. So I'm gonna have a bit extra, but we'll talk about later if I'm gonna add more R8s or more server cases on that shelf, which is gonna be for the 3070s right there, okay? That shelf right there. We'll talk about that in a sec. But you guys may be asking, Repenna, so you bought the 108 RTX 3070s? Yes, but I actually traded for the 108 3070s. So I'm gonna let you guys know what I traded here for those GPUs, okay? Some of you guys may agree with it, some of you guys may not agree with it. I wanna know your guys' opinion down below. Okay, so first one that I have traded, first piece of hardware, is gonna be an X16P. I don't have it with me, but it's around a $10,000 ASIC miner right now. You guys know the Jazz Miner X16P. It's a new, you know, ETH hash, ETC hash, you know, ASIC miner for ETH hash, right? So that I am going to give to the gentleman once I receive it. I still have to do a video on it. I haven't received that model yet. So that will be down the road. So there's 10 grand roughly right there, okay? For against like the $27,000 worth of 3070s. Now, the next one that I have traded for is the Ice River uh, KS2 and also my KS1. So both of these are gonna be going. I think rough value for this KS1 right now is what, like 25, I don't know, $3,000 or something, maybe less. And then this KS2 is like 4,000 or something, or 5,000. So you guys can do the math there. That's roughly about, what, six grand, seven grand right now in, in you know, roughly how much these things would sell for right now on the market. So. There you guys go, the Ice River KS1, KS2 as well. So three different machines so far, X16P, the KS1, KS2. Okay, let's go over here. Another machine that I have also traded for, for the GPUs, is going to be this, Jazz Miner X16Q. Okay, all right, this guy is, uh, you guys have seen this before, and I think roughly this thing goes for about I think $3,500 to $4,000 right now. So another ETH hash 
you know, quiet, silent ASIC miner that I have decided to trade in for the 3070s. You guys let me know what you guys think about this trade as well, along with the KS1, KS2, and also the X16P. So I think combined so far, the rough value of those four combined is going to be, I think, about, I don't know, $20,000-ish, okay? Maybe twenty-two dollars on a good day or something if I were to really eke out the amount that I could sell those machines for. So, X16Q, X16P, uh, KS1, uh, KS2. Okay, so those four so far. Now, there's one more, okay? Uh, actually, it may not be the last thing, but I'll have to figure that out later as we go along. There's one more machine here. You guys may have seen this a while ago. This is the IB-Link BMK3. This is a Cadena ASIC miner, okay? I have put a lot of Misfit Mining, Chum Change XD, Pocket Change stickers on here, as well as Chum Change's 3D printed parts to basically have like fan shroud handle, also the bottom platforms just to alleviate it a bit as like, you know, just make it stand like this, looks pretty cool. And so, yeah, I am also gonna trade this for the 3070s together. Now, the value of this IB-Link BMK3, obviously we all know the KA3, the Bitmain KA3 is the most efficient Cadena miner on the market, but the IB-Link BMK3 here, is gonna be the next most efficient for Cadena mining. I believe this is the either, uh, I don't remember if this is the 50 terahash or the 70 terahash, but I think this goes for around $2,000, $2,500 as of right now, okay? So factor that all in with everything else, I think we're pretty close to around the $25,000, $27,000 you know, mark there for the value of trading for those 3070s. You guys, let me know down in the comments below, okay? So IB Link BMK3, we have the Jazz Miner X16Q, X16P, and also the KS1, KS2 Ice River A6. Now, I thought I'd go ahead and do the numbers in case anyone is wondering. Profitability-wise, I'm not too much worried about it. Probably neither is the seller who wanted to trade for the 3070s as well. But just for the heck of it, in case you guys are wondering, for anyone that thinks this is either a good idea or a bad trade or whatever, vice versa. So I have 108 3070s here right now. Okay, I looked on hashrate.no. I just got general profit numbers for a RTX 3070. Okay, so right now it's making about $88.75 if I were to mine Game Pass, which is a Kapow algorithm, okay, which obviously takes a lot of power. So, with that $88 revenue, okay, that I can generate a day after my 11 cent kilowatt hour, I would be profiting about $45, okay, $45. Now, if we were to compare to all the other machines here that I'm trading for, the X16P currently makes about $24 revenue a day. After electric, it's $19. X16Q, after $8 revenue, it makes about $6.30 after 11 cent kilowatt hour. Ice River, KS1, Casper Miner, $9.49 revenue. After 11 cents, $7.90. Uh, Rice River, KS2, $19 revenue. Then the profit after that, after electric, is $15.81. IB-Link, BMK3. Unfortunately, this is not a profitable miner at my electrical rate, and it is losing $3.22. So if I were to combine all the revenue and also the profit that currently makes on these five machines, okay, including the minus $3.22, you know, if, if it was positive, it'd be 48 or 49 or something, but you can see here, total revenue is $65.57. Then, after the electrical cost, it's gonna be about $45.79 if I were to mine with all these right now. So this is a pretty, I would say, equal trade in a way in terms of profitability, okay, the profitability wise, as of February 12th, as of recording, is pretty much dead on in terms of the hardware that I am trading in here for the 3070s. Now, this is where I wanna get your guys' thoughts here. What is potentially the better value? For me, I, you know, I really love these 3070s. I love GPUs, as all of you guys know, and I think it's, it's, it's a no-brainer that I really don't need any more GPUs. I mean, I currently have 3070s sitting on the floor still, 3060 Ti's, 3060s, 3060 Ti's, 3070s, that have been sitting on the floor here for the better part of the past year, and I've just been really, really, really lazy in getting them all up, especially, you guys know, the 20 GP rig. Yeah, I 
want more GPUs. I know you guys are going to be like Red Panda. I think this is a dumb trade because especially the KS1, KS2s, you know, maybe Caspa is going to go up a lot more and those ASICs might generate a lot more income than yeah, you know, but the same idea I could say that with the GPUs, with the 3070s that I, I'm going to be getting here uh, over the course of the next month. They're all not coming right away. So uh, same idea goes along with the uh, uh, with the ASICs that I'm, I'm sending. The X16P won't be for I think another month or so to the gentleman so you know it's it's things like this where it's I just love GPUs okay the bottom line here is I really wanted the GPUs because I need to fill up my GPU mining shelf here okay so you guys know this is a GP risers R8 server case I can fit eight 3070s in here so I'm gonna have a wall all right those ten R8s, which are in the other room, okay, are sitting over here, are going to be, or are, I am wanting to fill with the 3070s, okay? I think that's going to be my best opportunity, in my opinion, and as well as uh, this will just, you know, get me to force myself to also start wiring in the power for my GPU shelf here for all the 3070s, like 80 of them, okay? Hopefully, uh, down the road, I could probably add, since I'll be getting 108 roughly, then I can add more server cases down here. And then uh, in another video, I do want to explain my power situation, okay? So stay tuned uh, for that. I'm gonna, gonna need some opinions of how, I really need to get this done now. Like I need to get this done sooner or later to run the power for the GPUs that are coming pretty soon, right? So I'll explain that in another video. Need to run more uh, 10 to gauge cabling for 30 amp, 240 volt circuits. So that's that's going to be, uh, it's really not going to be hard at all because it's literally right there. So it's like a good less than 15 feet run going into the uh, circuit panel, which I already have the breakers already in there, ready to go. They just need to be wired in. And so stay tuned, I'll, I'll, I'll make another video about that. I just wanted to give you guys an update regarding my trade for the 3070s okay you guys let me know if you think this is a solid trade or a pretty even trade i think it's i think it's a pretty even trade as the a6 i'm trading for uh, the ASICs I'm trading into for the 3070s, the ASICs have, I guess, a, a pretty good opportunity to, you know, price appreciate, especially with Ethereum Classic or Caspa, right? But with the GPUs, I have a lot of, I would say, versatility because I'm able to obviously mine a lot of different things, right? I, I, I took the profitability at the very top. I didn't even, like, I could have done, like, a lithium or something, which a lithium, if I were to mine a lithium on all the 3070s, roughly, would only generate me about... $50 a day or $23 in profit after electric, but that's using considerably a lot less power consumption, like maybe around 10,000 watts versus if I were to mine Kapow, I'd take like 16,000 watts. So that, the power usage, I wanna talk about in another video. I wanna explain like how am I gonna power all this, all these GPUs and talk about that. I'm obviously gonna use a lot more power rather than these ASICs, so that's another like con, I guess, versus the GPUs, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, I'll see you all in the next one. Let me know your thoughts and, oh, and I forgot, I forgot. Congrats to the winner on Sunday of the KS0 Pro. I already printed out your shipping label, my friend. It's going to a gentleman who won in Norway. Congrats to you, KG, man, my friend. This is, I'm gonna ship this out to you. So he's the first KS0 winner. All right, and we're doing another one for this coming Sunday, not live stream, I'm gonna choose a winner on Mr. Greater Good Mining's video, which I'll have linked down below. You just need a comment of thank you to BP who has generously, selflessly donated a lot of KS zeros for the giveaway, 10 here to be exact, and as well as another four for on Chum Change Hawk and uh, Max and Mining King's YouTube channel. So please, Link down below, comment on Greater Good Mining's video. Make sure you subscribe to Greater Good Mining as well and comment with thank you BP and also what you think or like about crypto mining in 2024, something like that, okay? I'll see you all in the next one. Keep you guys updated here. It is time to really, really go full force and get my GPUs ready here. I'll have a video about that like tomorrow. All right, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.